What is up everybody? Welcome back for another episode. Today we are finally back working on the PT Cruiser GT. My apologies that it's been a minute since the last episode, but I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. We've just been getting a ton of stuff done behind the scenes. Not only did we finish the Taurus Show project and get it running, but we also picked up another flip project and we got basically an episode ahead on the PT GT. That's why I'm standing in front of it so you can't see the progress that's been made and spoil it. So in this episode, we're basically finishing up the engine bay prep. We're relocating our PCM, which I know a lot of you guys have been wondering about. I've been mentioning for a while. We finally got that all done and mounted up and we also went ahead and prepped and painted the engine bay and it's looking amazing so you guys aren't going to want to miss this one spring productivity is in the air and we have just been cranking stuff out so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this one since we're waiting on some parts and stuff, I decided to go ahead and start working on relocating our PCM. That is something that I really have my mindset on doing. It's something that I've never seen anybody else do, but I've always wanted to try to do not only just to get it out of the way so that we could tuck the wires better, but also so we can make sure that the PCM is better protected because they're known for having heat soak issues because they're right here in the engine bay where everything is hot. But I want to relocate it down here under the wipers, make it so that's mounted securely and is safe from anything getting to it. And hopefully it will stay cool in here we could also put like a little like computer fan in here or something because you know computers get warm so it's something you have to think about but that's the plan and i'm gonna go ahead and mock something up today i had this like strip metal laying around that should be plenty heavy for the job and i went ahead and marked where i'm gonna be bending and cutting and stuff this actual plate that's on at the computer is gonna stay and we're gonna utilize that as part of the bracket so without further ado let's start hacking away at this I went ahead and started chipping this stuff up. It was already kind of crumbling and falling apart. It's like this weird plastic insulation sort of stuff that's in here. I don't even know why. But what I do know is that it came up pretty easily. So I went ahead and chipped up the majority of it. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area out once and for all. Also gonna go ahead and remove the rear wiper cleaner hose because I went ahead and deleted my rear wiper. So I don't really need that hose going back there for it. So I might as well get that out of the way as well. We could use that grommet hole for something too, if we need to. Let's go ahead and clean this out and mock things up and I'm probably going to end up just quickly flux core MIG welding the little brackets in here once I get them lined up perfectly and then we'll be good to go with our PCM mount. All right, so I've been out here doing some measuring and calculating, and I think I'm onto something that is actually pretty cool. So as you can see, we have our PCM mount kind of in here. I gotta clean up the welds a little bit and maybe do it a little bit more. We got it in there. The welds might be a little ugly, but you know what? Not bad for a kid who doesn't know what the heck he is doing. <laughs> That's gonna be a perfect spot for the PCM to sit. And uh, I did some measuring, and it looks like if I make a grommet hole down in here, I will be able to fit the PCM connectors through it. And I don't think I will have to extend at least these two at all depending on what we do with the other harness the engine harnesses and stuff might have to extend some things might not maybe that'll work out as well but it looks like it will fit up right up through here directly and uh, have plenty of space to hook into the PCM and then it will be all out of the way and tucked down in here we'll figure that out when we get to it <laughs> Finally got the hole cut. I used these two little die grinders that I actually got from Tractor Supply uh, on sale. So I got them on clearance. Don't want to get more air tools and I feel like this is a nice little start, but they came with these cutoff blades that were way too thick for what I was doing. Took me a while, but I was able to make them work and get the square cut out. Gotta do a little bit of cleaning up and filing, but I think for now we can go ahead and carefully test our wires and see if everything's gonna line up like I measured and like I'm hoping.
Give it an old twist. <laughs> So I got the old PCM bracket removed that took quite a bit of prying and it was a bit of a mess as you could see. I knew at that point I was going to have to use some Bondo to clean this up and make this look good. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to clean it up. Then we are on the final stretch of paint prep other than masking off and getting this stupid hood out of the way. <laughs> I went ahead and hit everything with some filler primer I had laying around and it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna do a little bit more sanding in a couple spots and uh, I mean, it's not gonna look perfect, but you know, it's presentable to the point that when we lay the paint down, it is going to barely show at all if it does show. Good enough for an engine bay, but the paint that I'm actually going to be using, I decided after doing a bunch of research and contemplating what to do, I have this implement paint that I'm gonna be using on the engine bay. Now, probably gonna get mixed opinions on that, which is very understandable because, you know, tractor implement paint is tractor paint. But I like the idea of using it at this point because it is very tough stuff and it can hold up to a lot of abuse and it's an engine bay. So I feel like out of all the things we could spray it with, that that's probably gonna hold up the best of anything that I could spray it with right now. I'm gonna be spraying it with an HVLP gun and I am going to be using a hardener in the mix and I also have the proper reducer so that I can get it mixed up and ready to be sprayed in the HVLP gun. So maybe implement paint, but we're gonna be spraying it properly and uh, I think it's gonna turn out really nice. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry, do a little bit more sanding. I sand and all the other areas that I really want to touch up. Then we're gonna mask everything off and finally spray this engine bay. The next day. All right, boys, it's painting day. So Eli decided to send it and go up in the attic because we want the hood to stay open, but I want to pull this uh, little hood prop out of the way. We got everything pretty much masked and ready to go. And today is the day that we are actually finally painting the bay, but. Why is there a muffler up here? Because we don't need mufflers. Did you throw it up here? I probably carried it up. It looks like you threw it up here. I might have thrown it up there, I don't know. Alright guys, we finished doing the spraying and everything, got the paint all done, and spoiler alert, it turned out actually really, really good. I think I miscalculated a little bit on my mixture of like hardener and reducer to the paint. The hardener I think was fine though, but I think I could have reduced it a little bit more. It sprayed a little, little funny compared to other paints, but it wasn't bad. It did uh, kind of orange peel or whatever you want to call it a little bit in some spots, but it's honestly not bad. The worst spots you're like never going to see anyway. The main thing is that everything's coated real good and it, it looks really clean all one color you can see like this right here is perfect so i'm really really happy with how the bay paint turned out the masking worked did its job so i think that's where we are going to be winding it down for this episode we made some pretty good progress with the car so next we're going to be getting everything installed with the big turbo on the engine getting the engine put back together and putting it in the car mocking everything up and seeing what it looks like in there for the first time hopefully in the next episode you guys got to be sure to stay tuned for that should i give you guys a little sneak peek Let's do it. We already got a little start on the motor. Ooh, oh, that's all you get to see. That's all you get to see. You gotta head down there, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Be sure to watch for the next episode coming very soon. I couldn't wait any longer to come out with an update for you guys. So here I finally am. Just been busy with a lot of different projects that you guys will be seeing. Stay tuned, follow us on social media down below. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching this quick little video. You rock, God bless, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.